Hey folks, Matthew with Tactical Comms here, and I'm excited to bring you a product review. This product comes from County Com Government Solutions. Uh, you can find them on Instagram and on their website. I'll leave links below. Uh, but today I am going to be reviewing the GP7 SSB, and this is a really, really neat product. I'm excited to, uh, really excited to play with this one and uh, tell you a little bit about it because as you know, I'm a big fan of anything that you can bring with you that gives you a little bit more information resources. If you've watched my previous videos on the National Weather Service's All Hazards Weather radio systems, this is an addition to that resource. Your, your local uh, National Weather Service radio is just for your local immediate area, but sometimes you need information that's from an outside area. Maybe uh, it's an ice storm or a hurricane and you don't have the local resources. And this GP7 is a great addition to your kit. It's very lightweight, it's a lithium ion battery. Uh, I, I'm really, really excited to tell you about it. So let's get into it just a little bit. I made a previous video using the earlier version, the GP5 SSB, and there's some major differences between the two. Size-wise, they're almost identical, but one of the key components you notice right off the bat is the ability to use the keypad for direct frequency entry. This is important because if you've done your due diligence, you've identified some key frequencies you want to remember and you want to be able to look at those and use, you want to be able to use it when you don't have information resources available. Uh, other key differences are the, the GP5 has uses AA batteries while the GP7 uses a lithium ion battery pack. Now, I'm a little torn at which I like better. I like the convenience of the lithium ion. I like the... Uh, accessibility of the AA batteries. Uh, I think weight-wise, the AA batteries probably weigh just a little bit more. So what does the SSB stand for? That stands for single sideband. Single sideband is very common in amateur radio. And so this is giving you another tool in your toolkit that you can listen to amateur radio broadcasts. You can hear, uh, maybe ham radio operators are talking about local conditions. Uh, during a hurricane, you have the National Hurricane Watch Net. Uh, that is up. You can get real-time information, real grassroots information from boots on the ground, for lack of better words. The direct keypad entry is really, really cool. I like the ability to select between upper and lower sideband, because uh, in the ham radio world, when you get into HF, not everything is on one sideband or the other. Uh, but this gives you a lot of opportunity. Uh, whip antenna, just like in the GP5, uh, this is a great resource. Um, it's also kind of an Achilles heel of any of the devices. If you plan on using this at any, for any length of time, you're gonna to want to have a spare antenna. And the antenna is really, really simple to take apart. It's Tuning wise, you can tune by either the side button, uh, side rolling thumb wheel here, or you can do direct frequency entry, or you can go through the function buttons to scroll up and down the bands, the uh, different segments of the band. Reception is really impressive on this. Uh, I've, I did some testing uh, here recently using just the GP7 and the microphone on my laptop to decode weather facts information. I was pleasantly surprised at how well the audio was and the audio was able to decode accurately from my laptop just off of the speaker. That's pretty impressive that it's got that kind of audio. Uh, it's really, really loud. Now, one of the things that I'd also like about this device is the ability to connect uh, an earphone, earbuds, whatever into it, because you may be in a place that you don't necessarily want anybody to know you're there. And having one little earbud will help you hear what's going on, but also keep an ear out for what's in your area. Overall, I highly recommend the GP7 SSB from County Com Government Solutions. I really appreciate them sending me this device to test for them. Uh, they did not ask me to give a recommendation one way or the other. The only thing they asked me to remind you of is this a limited run solution here. So if you're interested in this device, I highly encourage you to get online. I'll leave a link below to, to purchase the devices. Um, don't know if they're gonna keep running them or not, but uh, get it while you can. So as with all tools, I wanna remind you to get out, get trained, stay informed, and stay prepared. With Tactical Comms, I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching.